in this video i will be making manganese sulfate from these dead old batteries so these are two dead dry cells so i will open them up first i will open the outer casing with a screwdriver and then i will take out the lamination inside so after removing the lamination i will take a knife and a hammer and make a cut in the zinc case of the dry cell then after making a cut i will take it and peel it off like any uh, peel of a fruit and this was oddly satisfying to peel the zinc case like a peel of a fruit so after removing the zinc i kept it aside and this is the black manganese dioxide mixed with some charcoal so and other soluble electrolytes such as ammonium chloride and zinc chloride so first we have to wash it for that i will be transferring all the black powder into a beaker so i have opened up the both the cells and taken out all the black powder that was there these graphite dots also i have kept aside which will help me in electrochemistry experiments so now i will be pouring all the black powder into a beaker to this i'll be adding water and then i will stir it so that all the soluble substances could dissolve in water so i will stir it for some time break the lumps and then leave it for some time so that all the soluble substances could completely dissolve in it so i stirred it for uh, at regular intervals and left it for around 1 to 2 hours so now after i think after 1 hour i decided to filter it so i am using over here a regular gravity filtration for filtering it the solution filtered off very quickly and it didn't take a lot of time and i also washed the precipitate a couple of times with water so that all the soluble stuff has been removed i actually didn't show the washing steps but i did it so this is the black precipitate that consists of carbon and manganese dioxide so i transferred all the precipitate into a beaker the precipitate is some dry because i am doing this the next day therefore the precipitate became dry so it came off easily with a spatula and i transferred all the black powder into this beaker to this i am pouring chilled distilled water now we need to bubble sulfur dioxide gas into this suspension sulfur dioxide will react with manganese dioxide and form manganese sulfate which is soluble so for that we need to prepare sulfur dioxide for that i am adding some copper metal 
into this round bottom flask and 10 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid. On heating this, it will generate sulfur dioxide gas which will be bubbled into this suspension through an inverted funnel arrangement. So now I will place a stopper on the flask and then the gas will go through the tube which is connected in the side of the neck of the flask. Now I will heat it using my spirit lamp and I am using here a cold drink bottle which is being cut from the top as an inverted funnel. So copper reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid on heating to form copper sulfate, sulfur dioxide and water. So the sulfur dioxide gas is being bubbled into the water. As you can see that the level inside the beaker is rising. This is an indication that gas is being generated. After some time, the flask is filled with white smoke. These are the sulfur dioxide and the sulfuric acid fumes which are forming a smoke inside the flask. However, I continued the process. The sulfur dioxide gas is getting ad absorbed inside the solution. That's why I used chilled water so that absorption could be maximum. I used here an inverted funnel arrangement because I didn't want any back section. So after some time, I just dipped a potassium permanganate paper into this suspension and the color of potassium permanganate paper turned colorless that means that our reaction is now over and all the manganese dioxide has been consumed so now i filtered off this solution using gra regular gravity filtration it filtered off quite fast The solution must be pink in color but it is not so because this solution is very dilute. I washed the beaker and the precipitate with some amount of distilled water so as to remove all the soluble manganese sulfate from it. And then I evaporated the filtrate to dryness to recover all the manganese sulfate. After evaporating the solution to dryness, this is what I got. 1.2 gram of anhydrous manganese sulfate. Anhydrous manganese sulfate is white in color but hydrated is pale pink in color. Along with that, I also recovered 8.6 grams of recrystallized and dried copper sulfate pentahydrate which was formed as a byproduct in the reaction. Like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. I would like to thank Aga for financial support due to which I am able to create videos which require costly glass equipment like condenser, joints, flasks, etc. If you want me to try advanced synthesis such as Grignard reaction which involves hot blades with magnetic stirrer, three neck flask, different chemicals etc. You can support me financially through Patreon and PayPal. Links are given in description.